Let's go to Bob DeCastro. A year ago, a lot of students walked out in Huntington Park uh, on Cesar Chavez's birthday. They are protesting that it is not a holiday. The question is, is there a big walkout again? Bob, good morning. Well, let me tell you, Steve, uh, good morning to you. 7.30 this morning is when the bell rang. It's about a half hour later, and I'll give you a look over here. It looks pretty quiet. This is the street that's right in front of Huntington Park High School, uh, Miles Avenue. You can see there's a huge police presence here, a lot of officers. They've basically barricaded the street. They declared this area a safe zone. So far, we're not really seeing anything. Now, Huntington Park Police out here, what they want to do is uh, they want to prepare for anything. They want to make sure that everyone is safe. They brought in a lot of extra officers. Uh, last year, they say they were just caught off guard. You may recall uh, those walkouts last year. About 1,000 students here at Huntington Park High School walked out. They were protesting that bill before Congress that would toughen the immigration enforcement. Today, the bloggers are calling this proposed walkout today the Cesar Chavez Day of Action. And they're saying this walkout would be in the spirit of the civil rights leader. Now, they'd uh, like to declare this birthday uh, a school holiday in California. His birthday is actually tomorrow. But the principal, the state superintendent, the chief of police here, they're encouraging the students to stay in school. What they're saying is that this is uh, mainly a safety issue. I would call on all the students to uh, be good citizens and remain in school and uh, do, what, uh, do what the law requires and do what... Um, what, uh, the, what the people of the community require, and that's to have uh, naturally order and uh, our kids attending school. More well, it got pretty disorderly last year when students were walking through the streets. Uh, they weren't really prepared for that, and they were stopping traffic. It was a danger not just to the students, but to the motorists on the, on the roadways and also to the officers who were trying to protect them. That's why they take you here live. You can see they brought these officers out here. They won't tell us exactly how many officers are out here, but they say they do have enough. We should tell you that it's just not Huntington Park High School, Steve, but it's high schools all around California and specifically also here in the LA Unified School District. We know that they are also bracing for the potential for the walkouts. Hey, Bob, I, got, I have a question for you. And as sure. I said to you, we've all been covering this, almost saying, hey, this is going to happen while right. we ask the question, will it? But a lot of what happens is about blogging, the Internet, and also uh, Spanish language radio in Absolutely. the morning. The, the DJs who were so involved in the huge turnout uh, uh, a year ago, whatever it was, what are they saying this morning? Are they saying stay yeah. in school? I, I'm not really sure. I haven't heard that they're actually uh, going out there and championing their cause. In fact, I did go onto the blog sites this morning, MySpace.com, which was integral in last year's uh, walkout, and it didn't seem like it had as much teeth, as much uh, momentum as it did last year. Last year, it almost seemed like this was a real cause in terms of the immigration movement. I think some kids were afraid that perhaps their parents or their loved ones were actually going to be shipped back to Mexico. In this case, they're talking about declaring this day a national holiday, and I'm not sure whether or not that's really going to sink in with much people. All right, Bobby D., thank you.